Hello, my name is Amy Green, and I'm the director of the Center for Spiritual Care at the Cleveland Clinic. I'm also the board chair for ACPE. Last summer, I had the privilege of participating in the first ever Chaplaincy Research Summer Institute at Rush University in Chicago through the Transforming Chaplaincy Program. I can tell you that the week was nothing short of a game changer for me. As a chaplain and ACPE certified educator, my training and career experiences had not included a great deal of research education. Yet my role in a research-driven institution like the Cleveland Clinic really demanded that I develop some literacy and fluency and be able to read, digest, and discuss relevant research related to our work. This is all on top of our regular ongoing work of responding to suffering and crisis. The week at CRSI was an intense and busy week. The presenters offered more content and wisdom than anyone can truly process until long after the workshop is over. But they were engaging. This was not a death by PowerPoint event. There were great presentations, but also plenty of time for discussion and clarification, dreaming and visioning. I went away feeling capable of a much more informed and intelligent reading of different kinds of research. I learned what to look for, what to ask, and how to judge the overall potential impact of the research being presented. But the Institute provides a solid grounding for us to participate meaningfully with colleagues in our institutions in order to help our profession move forward. I can't recommend the Institute enough. My name is Rabbi Neil Levinger. I'm the Director of Spiritual Care Services at Vassar Brothers Medical Center in Poughkeepsie, New York. I had the great privilege of attending the Chaplaincy Summer Research Institute, the Transforming Chaplaincy Summer Research Institute, last summer in Chicago in 2017, and I had three great takeaways from it. The first was I got to network with chaplains and chaplain directors from all over the world and learn about what they're doing to bring best practice to their patients and some of their creative and innovative ideas. The second thing I took from it was a sense of the urgent questions our profession needs to address and some of the quality initiatives and research projects that researchers in the field, chaplains and chaplain directors are doing in order to shape and address those questions. And the third thing I took from it was a much broader sense of what tools there are in a chaplain's toolkit for doing research, for implementing quality initiatives, for talking with administration and other disciplines about what we do, how we do it, and how we can make it better. And those three things made the Summer Research Institute worthwhile for me, and I believe they will for you as well. I'm David Dawes. I'm from the Spiritual Care Department here at Peter McClellan Cancer Center. Where I'm the manager. We're here in Melbourne, Australia. I was very lucky to be able to attend the Chaplaincy Research Summer Institute last year, where I was able to meet a diverse group of people who had the common interest, not just from the States, but also from Oz and from the UK. Each person had a deep interest in promoting spiritual care, but needing to understand the place of good research. And that's what the the, sem the Summer Institute did. But there was also plenty of opportunity to network, network with a diverse group of people from various backgrounds and from various institutions and faiths and different settings. It was really good to hear and understand about where different people's environments within which they're working and the, the joys that they've got, but also some of the struggles if it wasn't for the, the Summer Institute, I wouldn't have been able to come back and have the, the enthusiasm to run a little project that we're in the, in the process of doing. We're looking at using dignity therapy here in our setting, looking at how well it translates, but also how the uptake of it. What do patients and the families think? We've only done four interviews at the moment. But each of the respondents have been so glowing in their praise uh, for the uh, for being part of it, and I'm very glowing of praise for the Chaplaincy Research Summer Institute. So I'm so grateful.